This is huge, okay? Now, did it get my edges together? Did it do a little something, something? Girl, oh, I know I'm looking cute, but let's, let's talk about it. What's going on, ladies? It's your girl, Carrie. And if you are new to the channel, hook your sister up and click on that pretty red subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my beauty, fashion, or lifestyle videos, turn on that notification bell. Now, of course, today's video is sponsored by the one and only Isha. Your girl's super appreciative of that, okay? So the direct link to the product will be linked in the description box along with the promo code CARRIEM10 so you can save you a little bit of coin, 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 okay? So I'm gonna show you how I sleeked down these edges, y'all, okay? I sleeked these edges down, your girl looking good. You know I got short hair. So this is a huge transformation. And using this product from Isha, this is their two-in-one formula. Is their Slick and Slay Braze Locks and Edge Gel. It's ultra extreme hold and apple scents. And it smells just like apples, okay? With the skin on it and all. <laughs> And it does have some castor oil in it, y'all. So this is a really big jar. And it's going to last me some time, y'all, because this, this is a lot. Now, I will also be using some Janet Collection crochet here to add to my ponytail to get me to look the way I'm looking today. So we're going to talk about all of that. All right, so I wanted a clean canvas, so I went and used the alcohol to wipe off any excess makeup and products. And I'm taking my braids out now. Y'all know my hair is short, so I had to do a whole different process for the rest of my ponytail. And y'all know my edges are thin. Thanks, 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 PCOS. But I'm gonna embrace it and work with it. So again, I'm gonna use this Slick and Slay gel. And now this gel is a clear color and it's super, super thick, y'all. And it's really easy to work with. Now I did do one side off camera, not purposely. Okay, I didn't know I was not fit filming but I'm gonna show y'all how it works okay so a little bit definitely goes a long way because this stuff is definitely thick like I said and it's really easy to work with too now I know a lot of thick pomade sometimes once you maneuver it or put it in a place it gets stuck and it don't move this one does give you some wiggle room to recomb it reform it brush it you know move it around a little bit while still staying flat as you can see because you see me trying to cover up them little them little thin areas okay and it's definitely moving i already done combed and brushed and smoothed that a few times and it was still allowing me to reshape it and move it so i definitely love that while at the same time it's staying flat okay because that's what we want we want it to be flat we don't want it to like curl up and revert and all of that stuff so I could say definitely it's a good product to work with and it's easy to work with and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, what I'm going to be doing after I finish the edges is just taking the excess gel because I'm not dipping back in there, y'all. This stuff is really thick. And I'm going to smooth the rest of the edges into my ponytail, which it did really nicely. Yo, it, it worked out really nice. I just kind of went in with the brush and I kind of back brushed it into the rest of my hair. And it really smoothed in really, really nicely. So I will definitely suggest this to do your entire ponytail if you're able to do so. If you got some length, some hang time, and you don't need your hair to be crunchy you want it to be nice and soft and you just want to use minimal products try this product for your ponytails y'all but if you got short hair like me you can still do like me and use it for your edges okay now i'm gonna tell you like this after it dried it started getting a little white a little casty and i wasn't feeling that so i did go in with the alcohol and i just went over it and it definitely cleared it right back up and it was nice and shiny and pretty again however the alcohol did wet the hair so it started converting so i i will be going in with some this isha daily lace spray which i absolutely love it smells so good and i'm just going to spray that right on my edges and it's going to give me back the shine that i lost but also hold the hair back in place because the alcohol definitely shriveled my hair back up and i wasn't feeling it so these two together perfect perfect combo so i'm gonna move into the ponytail okay so with the ponytail i'm using the essentials water waves 24 inches the bundles are really thin so i ended up using five packs okay i did have six packs i didn't need all six i used five and i got really full and honestly you probably could get away with four and what i do is i take the hair and i just loop them around the scrunchie you can do it by one pieces it's easy if you do it with one piece it can get a little messy a little difficult and tangled up if you try to do it with thicker amounts at a time but i did it because your girl was trying to get it done and be on her way okay this is how it should look once you have all the hair on it and the next step is getting it on your ponytail so i'm going to take this and i'm going to 
tie them together and double it up. If you have short hair, you have a little teeny bun like me, this is a great idea. Just tie the two pieces together so you can have a smaller um, scrunchie to work with and also so that way the hair is more compacted in one area. If you have long hair and you have a big thick bun, you don't have to do this. Just keep the scrunchie how it was at the beginning. Now all I'm doing is keeping all of the hair at the top and wrapping the scrunchie around my bun until I can't do it anymore. And then I will flip the hair over and literally that's how you get the ponytail on here. So it's really simple. I'll take some hair from the bottom and I'll wrap it around a few times. I'm going to take a bobby can to secure it and that is it. As you can see, the top is going to look so good, girl. So it's a really quick, easy install. If you want it defined, you can keep it defined. But if you want to have some fullness and body to it, you can do this step that you see me doing here. And just taking some of the strands and separating it a little bit. Now, I got to say, the hair is really soft, really full. And it does have a little bit of weight to it. I'm surprised. But it does tangle. So definitely be careful with how you separate it if you don't want it to be tangling like crazy. Now, the edges look super freaking good. And the ponytail looks looks amazing too. I'm absolutely, absolutely happy with how my hair came out. I feel like this edge stuff right here, baby, it got it nice and flat and did what it was supposed to do. And this ponytail definitely helped your girl out because I don't know where I was going to go with some cute edges and a little teeny bun. <laughs> but overall, like really cute, y'all. Like it's really cute, really cute combo. And yeah, it has some length on it. This baby right here, it definitely does slick and slay. It definitely does exactly what it says it's going to do. It was really easy to work with. It's going to lay down. It's going to stay flat. It's going to go where you want it to go, okay? It's going to go where you want it to go. One thing this is going to do that like regular hair gel isn't going to do is get it nice and flat because a regular hair gel, it shrivels your hair back up. It's too wet. It's too moist and watery at the time of placement. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with my results, girl. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Have you ever tried any of this slick and slay? How did it work for you, girl? And have you ever tried any Isha products, okay? Because I've tried a few so far, and so far I've been liking them. They, they've been, they good in my book, okay? They good in my book. Again, the description box will have the direct link to all of the Isha products that I use in today's video. And I will also include the hair that I used from Janet Collection. Just in case you want to pick some up for yourself, girl. I can't blame you. Your girl looking good, okay? Okay, I know you want some. And if you want to see my prep process on how I actually mold my short hair to get it ready for styles like this, definitely hit up the description box for the video. But I will see you in another video, ladies. I will holla. Until then, bye. Uh, yeah.